elephants, I mean. When did you first tranquilize a wild elephant? Actually, our first uh, wild elephant tranquilization was our 98th animal. That was for trimming the tusk of a very large tusk, so that we could uh, save them from the poachers. The major operation was, uh, first was in Katepara, translocation of elephant. That being a maiden attempt uh, in India, that was more than successful, because uh, everybody who participated, including myself, was a novice in translocating wild herds to a large distance, like more than 100 kilometers. Using the technique of tranquilization, seven wild elephants were successfully translocated from the Kattepura Reserve Forest Area in Karnataka in 1987. These elephants are found both in Kodugu and uh, Hassan districts, and they have been, over the past few years, damaging lot of crops, property, and also uh, killing a few persons. We, with government permission, sought orders to capture these elephants and translocate a few of them to Nagarhole. This was the first ever Operation Elephant Translocation in the country. Dr. Chiran was called in to help with a massive operation. It took nearly two days to complete the project. The problem was suggested by the Karnataka government about the stranded elephants in the Asian Elephant Specialist Group. It was decided then that we'll use the tranquilization method, which is the most modern, although it has never been attempted in India. As a member of the Asian Elephant Specialist Group, as well as an expert on elephant tranquilization, I took up the challenge, and uh, uh, Karnataka government was trying to get the drugs, which is not available in India. And when they got the drug, uh, they contacted me, and I joined the team uh, to give advice on the dosages and other things that has to be done for tranquilization. In this method, we shoot a syringe from a, a rifle, and when it hits on the animal body, the drug is injected. And it takes 10 to 15 minutes for the animals to go down. When the animal is down, necessary tethering is done. Subsequently, the action is reversed by giving an antidote. Then a small sedative is given, and the animal is led to the particular place. You meet the use of kungis. This particular technique is most modern, has never been attempted in India. Till now, we had only the pit method, Kata method, Malashikar, which involves a lot of uh, danger. And we have to acquire much more experience and expertise in this. Throughout the journey, veterinary surgeons accompanied the team administering tranquilizers at frequent intervals to calm the elephants. Five of the immobilized elephants were led to the training camps while two were let into the Nagrohole National Park. The operation also involved the translocation of a 40-year-old rogue tusker which had trampled several villagers to death. Translocation also helps in protecting wild elephants from the threat of poachers by driving them to a safer location where a close watch can be kept on them. The science of tranquilization has opened several new avenues for intensive studies of animal behavior and movement. Tranquilization has also made surgery of animals more easier and less painful. The animals can now avail the best of the treatment. Is tranquilization a more specialized job than veterinary science? Yes, definitely, because uh, you must have basic background about drugs, the pharmacology of drugs, the physiology of drugs. 
But in addition to that, in the case of triangulation, you don't know the animal beforehand. And it is almost like an anesthesia. But in usual anesthesia, you can handle the animal, give pre-medication, monitor the physiological parameters and like that. In the case of triangulation, you must get the animal by the first shot itself. Then subsequently, you can handle the animal. So that is a very important problem. Second thing, it has got a lot of bearing on the weight of the animal. So an ordinary veterinarian will not know the normal weights of wild animals. Secondly, the dose also varies widely from different species and even among species. So for example, spotted deer takes only 2 to 3 milligram, while sambar will take 6 milligram per kilogram body weight. So like that, analyst he has given us special training with regard to the drugs to be used or even the cocktail of drugs to be used because often we combine drugs. Unless he is given a training, he will not be able to appreciate, he will not be able to understand. So a training is a must, but he must have a basic background of veterinary science, then he can improve upon it. We have got a zoo here local, which is about nearly 100 years old. So our zoo is under the technical control of the university, Dr. Professor. Jar is in charge of the zoo, he's a surgeon. So when he wants to handle the animals for some surgical purposes, he'll just call me. And I act as the anesthetist. Or you want to shift the case. So first uh, we used to sambar to be shifted from one paddock to another paddock. About, I got 23 sambar were tranquilized. That was the first time. Initially they want to do it physically. So animals were running amok and they got injured themselves and a couple of them died. So we started tranquilizing. And 23 sambar were tranquilized and uh, removed from one paddock to another paddock. Then shifting of cages of lions. Then sometime people will come to purchase some wild animals from the zoo. They would like to get it tranquilized, put it in a cage. Sometimes I have to accompany them to, release, to be released. Or sometime in the forest they would like to release. And wild leopards, as I told earlier, tranquilized, put in a cage and released in the forest. Whether it is a festive occasion or a national function involving the parade of elephants, Dr. Chiran is always present there to look after their well-being. Dr. Chiran has become a household name among the animal lovers and his services are much in demand throughout the country. Obviously, Dr. Chiran cherishes every moment of his profession and his profession is one that often involves a lot of risks. You know, I had a face-to-face -face encounter last Tuesday with a leopard. That was my fourth leopard. I went to triangulize, uh, just like a previous occasion, I thought I could put him in a cage and release in the forest or hand over to the zoo authorities. But the animal was so much tense and uh, excited because people were pelting stones. The animal had already attacked uh, half a dozen people. So I was anticipating. I wanted two gentlemen to hold uh, two stools on either side as a shield. But the uh, animal, when it started moving towards me, uh, they found it too difficult to stand. So they left the place. So when the animal bounced on me, I held my rifle like this to prevent him from getting onto my neck. So in that uh, melee, he got onto my right uh, forearm and he clung onto my right forearm and tried to catch on my right arm. So I had to spread like this, bend like this. So he was just, you know, having his uh, wide open mouth onto my face and I could see and could I see my the presence of my bifocal length getting his uh, canines uh, out of focus and in focus. And that was a tense moment. Actually, uh, say a few seconds, it was rather li hardly half a minute, but I felt more than one and a half hours. But I finally got relieved when the fellow got down, probably because he's tense and worried, or because he found that uh, his prey is uh, bold enough to face him. And when you look seriously to an animal's face, that also get uh, uh, upset. Probably that would have helped me. With his love and concern for the wildlife and animals, Dr. Chiran has endeared himself 
to all animal kind and his tryst with them continues. इस कार्यक्रम के साथ ही हमारे आज सुबह